You're listening to Masala Chai. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Masala Chai. I'm your host, Adrian, and let me just say... A wonderful happy new year to all of you people listening in and watching this on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing new episode. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I uploaded a episode. It's because I took a bit of a break. Um, creative break maybe? No. Um, it's a bit of a, a personal break. I had a, I had a lot of stuff in my plate. I had a lot, a lot of stuff going on mid-December. Um, quite, quite serious things at work. And uh, I wasn't able to focus on... On, on the podcast. Similarly, my university applications were coming up, so I was very, very focused on that. I only recently submitted all of my applications, so now I'm a bit more free and relaxed. But unfortunately, while I hope everyone is having an amazing weekend so far, uh, actually, I just sent off my family back to Indonesia today. So I'm actually alone in Singapore again. If you guys are um, continuing, uh, if you're if you're a, an existing uh, customer <laughs> of my channel, then you would know that I was alone uh, around the same time last year, but uh, this time around, I'm once again alone in Singapore. While some of you might be like, hey, Andrew, that's a good thing, you know, freedom. I'm like, eh, not really, because I'm, I'm kind of a family, family-oriented family person, and I really, really will miss my family. But truth be told, uh, this is a part of my life. It's a part of going up, and I am going to be 20 this year, so that means... That number comes with a lot of responsibilities. Anyways, today's episode is going to be kind of about, you know, adulthood, because it's kind of new to me. Uh, it's kind of new to a lot of people that I know. And it's a question that, that's been asked many, many times. Now, initially, I wanted to make this video with another guest of mine, a friend of mine, Kevin. But unfortunately, he is also traveling back to the US. And uh, I was not free uh, to ask him any time before today. So that's kind of on me. But I will still make a video with him uh, sometime soon once he's back. But until then, this is all you guys have to listen to. Um, also, another side note, this is the sixth episode, meaning there's going to be two more episodes until the end of this season. The reason why season one is only eight episodes is, is because I'm going to be making a lot of creative changes in the future. And uh, because of that, this season is going to be a bit shorter than, than usual. But other than that, everything else is going to be as normal. And I think we're, we're hitting the three minute mark. So I, I suggest we move into the actual podcast. So to begin with, Adulthood is is kind of defined as as you know responsibility as as individualism independence perhaps um, those words are, are are just words that I that I associate with when I think of adulthood and in general people assume that you know being an adult means doing everything on your own um, well being independent in a sense but in reality it's not the case because you see no adult in any any reality will ever will ever be able to achieve things without having assistance from other people because there's a reason why that we form groups we form cults we form organizations uh, we have religions we have so many societies castes whatnot the reason why these exist is because a collective number of people in general when 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 collectively working together will be able to achieve a goal much efficiently, much more efficiently than they would if they were alone. Um, and, and that is one of the main reasons why I feel like a common uh, misconception of, of kids, of teenagers nowadays who, who are entering that, that phase of adulthood, they often get confused or, or just misthrown by the fact that they assume, oh, when, when I become an adult, I'm going to have to become oh, well, a lot more independent. I'm going to have to do things on my own. I have to go earn money. I have to um, think more smartly. I have to be a bit more street smart. I have to be able to clean my house, um, pay my loans, pay my bills, whatever it is. Uh, and for most people who are in university, not like me, have student loans to worry about if, if they're in the States. Um, if you're, well, you know, if, if you don't have the money to pay for college, which a lot of people don't, obviously, even even I don't. But the thing is that that's all a part of, of, a, of, a, of a package, of, a, of an adulthood starter pack, <laughs> in a sense. 
Um, this theoretically starts when you're 18 years old, when you're finishing off high school and moving on to college or university or wherever you're going to go working. Uh, it, it depends on, on, on the place, on, on the person, um, on the you know monetary situation, financial situation. But at the same time, it's also about the mindset, because if a person doesn't have a proper mindset of how to, you know, how to attack this problem or or how do I move on about, uh, you know, adulting, it's it's going to be a bit of a tough question to answer. And uh, more times or more often, people are, are seeking for mentorship, are seeking for help, assistance. And it's perfectly normal. I, I don't understand why that in our society, there's there's a bit of an establishment by saying, oh, if you seek help, then then you're stupid. You're an idiot. Uh, you're, you're not self, you know, you're not capable of doing things on your own. It's completely incorrect. I mean, it's not like you don't, you're always going to have an upper study when you're moving into a work or a job. You're always going to have assistance from people because you're not going to get anywhere if you're not going to be able to be sharing knowledge from other people. It's essentially like watching videos on YouTube, you know, watching lectures, uh, reading books. It's all a method of sharing knowledge, a means of sharing knowledge. And knowledge is one of the most important things you'll ever, ever come across in life. Because if you're not able to share knowledge, then there's no reason to be able to think in the first place, right? Um, well, that, that's more philosoph philosophical, which I, I could go on, but uh, I think that'd be a bit boring. But on, on the more, more important side, really, for people like me who are not in university right now, I'm spending two years of my life serving my country, not even my country, to be honest. I, I, I know I say my country, but I was only born here. I don't associate myself with this country as much as I do with Indonesia or India even, uh, even though I come to this country like almost every few months for the past 18, well, 19 years, it's not necessarily the case. I, I don't feel like this is a home. But regardless, I'm serving my, my two years here. I'm doing my... Okay, that's my watch has something to say there. <laughs> uh, regardless, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm doing my time. <laughs> Sounds like I'm in jail <laughs> doing my time. But I, I really am. I am in jail. And I, I can't leave the country. I can't do things without seeking approval from my higher ups. It feels like the entire word freedom is is kind of removed because now freedom feels like a privilege, which in reality, it is, right? Freedom is a privilege if you think about it. Not everyone is entitled to it, unfortunately, but it really is a privilege. And that's something that's one of the realizations that I made upon my experiences here in NS and National Service that I that I can always go back and refer to when I'm when I'm experiencing some some something in my life. Um, some occasion or some sort of a predicament, I just go back and I think, hey, this is unfortunately normal. Or, or hey, this, this is not freedom. And that kind of a mixture of, 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 of a misleading justice, misleading uh, truth is kind of what drives my passion to become a lawyer. Okay, now I'm just, <laughs> it's as if this podcast is an interview to a university. <laughs> it's not. But the truth is, that I, I really do take these kind of things quite personally, and it's it kind of sucks that I can't do anything about it. But hopefully, by 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 you know expressing my opinions through through mediums like this, like like my podcast, my YouTube videos, my Instagram stories, if you guys watch that stuff, then it, I I just hope that one of those messages gets you know sent off to one person or another, and they can take that and resonate it with them, and you know just really really empathize em empathize yeah that's the right why is that is that the word anyway that word that they can you know relate to that and really apply it in their life because if they don't apply it then there's no reason for it to exist right then you're just reading it then uh, it's essentially useless but other than that i feel like you know in general it's not easy to transition between a teenager to an adult because there's a certain like I would say there's a certain level of maturity that is required for for a transition like that. Um, a maturity that's not always easily achieved or easily obtained because maturity is something that, you know, that you can't train. I mean, you can, I guess, to a certain extent, but it's something that comes in from the within, you know, it makes it sound quite spiritual, but it really is. Uh, because once you read, once you reach a certain age, or once you had a certain level of experiences, like ex XP points, really, <laughs> you you get that maturity level to be able to comprehend, to be able to understand, to be able to react to situations that that you would be differently reacting to if you were a kid, 
or if you were an adult or if you were like a a, a grandfather i guess i don't know uh, an old old man there's always going to be uh different reactions to it like for instance me watching this in 20 years time i'm going to react to the way i'm spoke i'm, I'm speaking today in, in a much more different manner i might be saying what is he talking about everything he says is completely incorrect or i, I could be saying oh wow i was like i was quite of a genius back then but i might be more of a genius in the future um, which hopefully is the reality because wisdom and experience are two different things which uh, which I'll get on uh, on another podcast episode. That's a, that's an interesting point, Adrian. Nice, wisdom versus experience. Another thing I wrote in my essays for my universities. But anyway, um, essentially speaking, for most people, including uh, my cousins that I know, uh, don't want to name them, but a few of them are are growing up. Not a few of them, just one really. Uh, you know, he's he's growing up and I and I, I just want to be one of those mentors, one of those people that, that can be there for him, uh, as well as a lot of my other friends, a lot of people that have looked up to me from when I was in school. Um, those kids really, well, not kids anymore. They're they're quite, they're, they're older now. But <laughs> um, to me, they'll always be kids. <laughs> Dad vibes. Um, but, but, you know, from a standpoint where I've seen them, uh, you know, grow, especially from from my drama times, from my theater days, um, there's always there was always a group of boys. We call them actually the the alpha males. That's what we call each other. Uh, shark bait, hoo ha ha. That's actually where I got the the idea. Shark bait entertainment from was from when I was interacting with those boys from uh, from one of our plays a, a while ago, and it's it's kind of those experiences that you get. The thing is. Another thing that adults nowadays are lacking is the open-mindedness that everything is not about age. There's something, maybe it's just my culture. Maybe it's just maybe I've seen people in my country who are who are very, you know, focused on the age of, of, of people they're listening to. Like, like some sort of, like age is the most important thing. So if someone who's younger says something, they're like, no, you're too young to say that, be quiet. But in reality, the truth is, Younger people are the ones who are going to live in this world after the old ones are gone, right? So then it doesn't make sense why people like like me or anyone else who isn't old enough to have a say in things, when they start to say things that actually make sense. So if, if someone says something that that doesn't, you know, make sense or it's kind of stupid, then you can say, hold up, you're being dumb, be quiet, shut up. But if they're saying something that's valid, a valid point that should be taken into consideration by adults, it's not. Is it their ego that's hit, hitting it off, or is it just the way they were brought up that I, I I can't I can't begin to comprehend why or how? It's just the way it is. Um. So the one thing that I have learned is that people from any ages will always have things to teach you. You can learn things from anyone. As an adult so far, I am one of the youngest. If if I if yeah, I'm one of the youngest people in my uh, in my platoon at, at work, and I realize that I can learn a lot from people who are younger than me and from people who are significantly older than me, because the reality is when you're forced in an environment with people of different cultures, of different race, of different experiences, different age, different generations in a sense you are forced to learn and rely on each other because the army is all about brotherhood and you have to get a certain level of respect, a certain level of trust and you can only get that if you know the person quite well. And I have have met a lot of people who are younger than me, older than me, from different backgrounds and you know, interacting with them, there's so much you can learn from them. There's things that you do that that isn't quite right and you don't know that but until they point it out or until you see something that they're doing and you're like hold up what he's doing is right and i've done that exact same thing or oh maybe i haven't done that i've did the i've done the exact opposite and i realized that i was on the wrong i was in the wrong now i can change myself and these these are teachable moments that people need to understand especially kids transitioning into adulthood teenagers need to understand that you can learn from anybody and everybody even the worst person in the world, you can learn a few things from them. Not necessarily the bad things. Um, there's obviously going to be, you know, pros and cons. But you know, try to try to lean towards the pros at any cost, please. You know, I don't want any. I don't want to see anyone watching this podcast or listening to this and end up being a killer and be like, oh yeah, Hadron told me to learn from everybody, including bad people. No, that's not what I said. Don't quote me on that. But the reality is that it's just simply factual that you'll be learning and picking up things from everybody. 
And it's something that people should, you know, start to understand. It's something that you should apply in your daily life. If you're if you are an adult watching this, maybe maybe consider learning from kids. Because when I was like I said in the theater department, the theater department, when I was doing the drama, I was still a kid. And I was around 17, 17, nah, not even 18 yet. 16, 17. I was 17. All right. And I was learning from kids who were 14, 15, you know, at a time, 12. I kid you not. Um, there's a lot of things you can learn from them. And I feel like that's something that people are taking too too lightly. Um, because, you know, adulthood is not about being alone. It's not about being responsible. But it's being a good human being. Because throughout your entire life, you are brought up by your parents, by your family, your friends. You are raised to be a certain kind of person. That character, personality, that development of a persona will only resonate once you're an adult. Because once you're an adult, that character fits. You know how they say people don't change? It's because they don't. Maybe a few things, their, their habits may change, but the deep persona that's existing inside a person will never change because it's been existing for however long they've been living and that's something that you cannot change and that's why i feel like the transitioning period between become between a teenager to an adulthood is the main time where you can change things where you can experiment things when you can learn make mistakes and learn from them because that is what truly truly will test how much of an adult you are I've seen I've seen kids who are, who act like adults. I've seen adults who act like kids. Oh my god, I know so many. But dealing with them is another another topic for another day. Actually, that's a very interesting point. I have I have a, a few people at work who who act like kids and uh and it's it's kind of kind of tough to deal with them, but um I feel like that that's that's for another day, definitely. But uh <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um but you as as an adult or as as a kid listening to this watching this should understand that you know in reality life is not going to be nice to you but you need to be nice to other people because what comes around goes around all things happen for good is what i believe personally i believe that you know everything has a reason because if it doesn't then then i don't understand why we're in this world right it might call me call me religious call me cynical uh even skeptic but the truth is life is awesome you only live once so do your best do the best you can do um uh and yeah try to be a good adult yeah that's all i can say pretty much this was was kind of weird is it's kind of just analyzing my own thoughts and reality um actually that's kind of what this podcast is in total it's it's really just me thinking of of things it's like shower time except it's when i'm having a tea you know, it's because I, I just sit down, I have, I drink my tea, I think about my life in general. And that's exactly what masala chai is all about. It's about, it's about life. It's about you. It's about sitting down, relaxing and reflecting on things that you've done, achieved or failed in the past. Uh, it's something that's very important. I think people need to start doing this, especially uh, the younger generation, like my generation. We're going to make a lot of mistakes in life, guys. We, our, our life just started. So we need to be considerate of everything we do. And try to take a note of, of everything you've achieved because the smallest achievement can be one of the biggest or have one of the biggest impacts in your life and your future. So with that in mind, I'm going to end this episode with an amazing, amazing bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye, everybody. Uh, no, I'm going back to work tonight. So actually, I have to get ready, uh, pack my stuff. I need to go get my glasses. Actually, if you realize I don't have any glasses right now, is because mine broke. Gee, I think it should be here somewhere. I don't know. Oh, I don't know where I put it, but it broke. It, it kind of just it split in half. But uh, this was a week ago, so I already already ordered new pair uh, a new pair of glasses because my secondary ones also broke back in like last year. Uh, so yeah, I should go collect that later. And uh, and yeah, just just stay safe because that's the most important thing right now. Safety is very important. You know, Omicron or Omicron, however the hell you say it, is is going around. Uh, get get your boosters, guys. If you're not already vaccinated, get vaccinated. And also get your booster jab. It's very, very important. I, myself, am going to go next week. 
Uh, so yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you guys love this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button on, on YouTube. And if you're listening to it on Spotify, follow my Spotify playlist, listen out and watch out for an episode of Masala Chai. Peace out.